This is a rant and pros and cons of holidays, especially Christmas and then fan bases. First, I want to talk about how Christmas, everyone is just in a hurry wanting to get things. Especially me when I was younger, like, the reason I like Christmas is because of gifts. But what I really like is just the break and seeing people I care about. But now it's more of a break because I barely see anyone. Because relatives live elsewhere and my friends online live elsewhere. But I just wanted to say how everyone's just so busy and spending all this money and Black Friday and stuff they don't have and hurting other people for no reason. And how it's crap how people act around strangers. They don't even know. They have to go out of the way to not only be like rude and negative, but they have to be like even abusive and physically violent towards people that are complete strangers and I think it's basically everyone should like learn that like yeah they can get computer free so you should just like you can even go to the library for free you can order stuff online it works just as good especially Cyber Monday you know it's stupid especially even Thanksgiving is stupid eating a lot of food and celebrating being an American which is really ignorant I think we're just people, and we shouldn't think we're better than other people. Especially because the American government is probably the worst government. But, whatever. And I think it's stupid how people basically just care more every year how much they can get. And like, a whole bunch of things spawn and just like something really big and expensive. But like... I think everyone should start earning more online and stop being if they can't be civil to people when they shop in the stores. And I like Christmas the most because I like sleeping in and not going to school. And then my shirt's the Red Queen from the House Wonderland Tim Burton. Helen Bonham Carter because um yeah because she's a bit bitter and stuff and that's how I feel about the holidays. I'm listening to in this moment for blood and that was that one I love the new music video off topic Chris Motionless and Marie Brink oh my god and then she looked poison Tim it's so much better the song is much better the video is much better than Angel Eyes with New Year's Day and Chris and I love it so much because Chris and Maria just are amazing live and I hope to meet them someday um The only thing I don't like about this album is some of the slow songs. I really like their fast paced songs and I don't really like their covers. And I really like Beautiful Tragedy, the first love song. But I love all those fast songs, which is most of them on this album, their best one. And um, I just want to say how Christmas should be of quality instead of quantity. And the best thing about the Christmas holidays last year, this year, and next year is The Hobbit 1 through 3. And especially the double, triple features. <laughs> um, and I can't wait to go see it. Just pushing this one. So, uh, yeah. And um, what I really hate the most, though, about being in the Christmas is the music. I hate all the songs except... We made Cinder the Christmas cover album because you make it dark with a twist and write his own songs, not just do crap covers about like Jesus. But most Christmas songs are about Jesus, and a lot of people aren't Christian, so that's there should be other ones. And Christmas song I love is Santa's Piss by Motionless and White because that's exactly how I feel about it. And I love Christmas humor on it, and I wish they perform it live more. Um, and the last thing about Christmas is I got some things online really cheap all together at $70 and like I got Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys on Amazon for free shipping. I got Metapocalypse Death Clock Death Album free shipping. Puppet Master and Killjoy Complete Collections free shipping. Degrassi Season 12 free shipping. Demonic Toys and Dollman Movies free shipping. And then the last ones with free shipping were my books. Two more books. No Reservations and Black Lace series, Megan Hart and Lauren Dane. And Virtue Eyes Ursula's Book 4 by Megan Hart. The Horror by Motionless and White. And Gene Simmons Family Jewels Season 1. 
And the stuff I got without free shipping were Dead Again, Typo Negative, CD, and DVD version, two disc. And it finally came in the mail today. Corn self title album, Corn. And I got two more books, two more CDs. I got the other Black Lace book, Megan Hart and Lauren Dane, Stranger by Megan Hart. And I got two CD, more CDs, Hate Breed, Perseverance, and Funeral for Yesterday by Kitty. And that one comes with the DVD too. Okay. And that's what I got. It was a good deal. And I hope I can get a netbook too. Because there's a lot of short stories by like all my authors I read that I can't get elsewhere. And I like for like five dollars or less. So basically that's all I know I'm getting for Christmas and hopefully Mac stuff and gift card. And just so money for that convention with Twiggy. Um and the only Christmas book I like are Father Christmas to okay, Tolkien. I think that's it. Um, and um, I think that's all I'm saying about Christmas in this video and holidays. My favorite holiday is Halloween. And next year I'll make two Halloween videos at least. Um, Talk about fan bases. Uh, I'm kind of this my last video. Favorite bands. Most fan base that annoys is Jugglers, Lady Gaga's fan base, and most of the white fan base. I just. I just can't handle it. Like, most of them, but not all of them. Well, I'm not sure why, at least not all of them. I like them. Like, a few of the fans, but. I love the band, and that's what my main thing that matters. Um, I love the most also how they just free hands like the costumes do what they want. People still like them and listen to them, but they still bash them and hate them, even though most of them years later. Like, they've been doing different stuff every album, like Manson has, and stuff from Crazy to Manson, though, that's ridiculous and ignorant. And I love most of the why because. They are great people, nice to fans. Most of the fans don't deserve it, and most of the fans need to stop. Chris's rant was amazing, and I'm not gonna be cheap and say I agree with everything he said or that I hate everything he said, but like the whole I love almost everything except like he could have like expressed. Chris could have like expanded on what he said and like got more into meaning of some of the things. But the thing, the only thing I don't agree with in Chris Motionless is rant. It's basically nothing really. Except I don't have a passion. Don't have a passion for him saying that. Um, I really don't know. I agree with what he said, but I, the post was like not long enough. Like, I love his long like rants, and like I just basically agree with Chris on everything, except lately not coming out to fans. Like, I kind of understand because, like, people have been acting, but whatever. Juggalos, I can't stand them. And girls are juggalites, you know, obviously don't anything about feminism. Because all they're really about is to, they want to use women's bodies. They don't even care about women their songs. It's not for a female audience. I don't understand why you like it. And Juggalos just, I don't like them because they're just silly and they don't know how to make music. They beat on things. They don't, don't play instruments. Who cares if they write their crappy rhymes? Who cares? What's work words? I looked at most of our lyrics and it's like all the same, degrading women and being like nothing serious, nothing meaningful. And their family is just really rude and a lot of them are ignorant and don't know how to be civil towards women especially and they don't know grammar or spelling. But the juggle is that don't hit anyone, don't go out of their way to save the band, save their lives and are civil to non-fans, then whatever, uh, I don't mind you. But I don't think I'm going to like you, but I don't mind you. The fan base that is really annoying is Lady Gaga's monsters. They're, they're talking about she doesn't care about her fans. They should realize that already. Uh, 
She just wants money. She's a dislike. Not even original. A Madonna one be. Um, fan base that I don't like some of them, but I like overall. That I want to be part of the fan base is the Spooky Kids. Um, besides of the past, they like been really just like weird to me. Or like, uh, they just like I'm following me for no reason. I'm, I just don't understand why. Cause I'm gonna try to be friends with all of them. Um, at Manson concerts, I feel more welcome, welcome than other concerts. But the thing I don't like is some of the Manson fans just keep bragging and about meeting the band stuff, and their parents pay for it. And I don't understand why. Like everyone loves their pictures so much and everything when they can't pay for anything on their own because they're lazy and they're like I never want to job some of them unless I can get like a good job. It's like okay, but you're gonna have to find some kind of work sometime. But whatever. The fans I don't like are just any fan base, not just Manson. The Manson ones are the ones I can tolerate most of the time. Except a few of them I always like. Um Fan base is the thing I like. Is you can be nice to each other in concerts. You're not like interested in mosh pitting and hitting people and being a bastard for no reason. The thing I don't like is how like fans that do drugs and get high. It's like, can you at least be sober for one night? Maybe drink but get out of the crowd and stop being rude to people. I'm not saying you have to be straight edge, but. Fans that just go out of the way to be rude and negative, I don't like it. The ones that keep following and unfollowing you are blocking you. I just, three fans I can't stand are Dagon, Tina, and, or, and Misty. They've just been rude to the whole people that listen to me, and so whether they're part of the fan base or not, they just have something to say against everyone. The things I love about Manson fans is that they actually like to talk to you on Twitter, most of them, and they actually have the same common interest with Simon Manson, but the ones who are in the little family clip like with each other, especially like, oh, you mainly should just listen to corn and oh it's okay we're gonna kill. Of course Jack of Jelly can listen to a type of negative. But the ones that are like small minded like that, that just obsess over the two bands and don't even like it's <laughs> funny. A lot of you say, I love Jack of Jill, oh I know what took us, I know Bikini Kill is you don't know most of their songs. You don't know of any other feminist bands, but you keep calling yourself a feminist. But um like with Riot Girl, like I don't understand how you can be a part of Riot Girl, but you keep saying, I want to relive the moment, go back. You're supposed to move forward. You didn't live in the 90s, and then Riot Girl moving, you weren't old enough or couldn't be part of it. And I guess it sucks, but you're supposed to create your own fan base. And realize that the Riot Girls back then I still care about their fans, they still give concerts to some of them, like Kathy and Hannah especially. I just don't understand why you would like be like like anti-boy and bash guys. No, I don't want to be that kind of feminist riot girl. And I really don't even want to be part of a riot girl anymore with the way. Like, unless I'm at a concert and meeting like, with a feminist like Otab and Kathleen and Hannah that actually care. But some of the fans are just like, just rude. And when I would speak to Kathleen and Hannah, like none of the other fans talked to me or anything. Thought they were uptight and rude, whatever. Um, I just think that I'm there for the music mainly, and if you're there as a fan, you're gonna be nice to me, that's a bonus, but I'm not there for you. I'm there to see the band and meet them. That's what I care about. And there's five Manson fans um, I always love talking to, and I give them shout outs. Uh, no order, Tori Diadonna on Twitter. I used to talk to her more, but she's awesome. We always favor note to each other, but she's awesome. I also love Tracy Lee's Trello981 on Twitter. She's awesome. <laughs> um, I don't really have guys. I mean, it's a man that I love. Wilkes Fan 30 is really cool. Emily Manson. Emily X Manson. Um, Spooky Kid, Alexandra. And those fans I talk to. Uh, um, they're really cool. And there's a few of them their names that they haven't followed me for no reason. And like, I understand. Especially if one was tired of me bragging. Like, I don't I understand she didn't follow me because she met Manson and Twiggy eventually too. But the Manson fans are the most tolerant out of them all. Um, and I really think some of them are just really good people, but I don't know for sure. A few of them don't need to get their act together and stop, you know, stop being so negative or complain about stuff. 
um, a few other Manson fans I really like talking to. Nikki Lucker, Arco Rose Greer, um, Flo Spooky Kid is her name. Coma Black. I can't remember her name. I just talked to her the other day. I'm coming back. And she's in Ohio, I think. Yeah. And she's much more than I do. Um, obviously, Eliza the Ripper. Um, uh, yeah, she's kind of the disco too. She keeps changing her name on Twitter. Um, and Cryptor Chid Rock. Which, like, Cryptor Chid and Arco Ghost are, are the two. Nikki and Vogue are the two. Nancy families that I feel that, like, are, like, feminist, the action of the talking about. And also, Corset Scars, Krista Shelby is really cool. Um, all the European fans I've met at Manson, most of them I talked to at least once. The other ones seem nice, I haven't really talked to them, like Tina and Nadine, but they're cool too. And um, in Germany, I've been talking to her a lot lately. She, lately, she has a Maggie fan site. She's really cool. And her personal is ex-Twiggy Ramirez. I can't remember her name. I forgot she's like that. I can't remember your name. Um, and... Just any fan I follow back on Twitter that's a Manson fan, I have no problem with you and you're the kind of fans that I like. But some of them that I don't talk to anymore, I just want to forget about them and have no right feelings toward them. And I don't hate any Manson fan except I'm turned out by Tina and Dagon and Mystery. And other people like her even know why on Twitter that I'm Manson fan. But yeah, I call yourself a Manson family, but I'm not going to call myself that. I call myself a spooky kid and like at a Manson concert maybe. Um, this one has part of the enemies, I'll say, yeah, I'm a spooky kid, with Phillips sometimes. Um, and basically, I think most of you are really cool, and I hope none of you took offense at this, and I don't mind any of you, besides those that I mentioned. <laughs> this thing. And then um, Courtney, I like, and Colleen, I forgot about Courtney and Colleen, you guys are awesome too, and I'll get to meet you next year, and start for you again. <laughs> And like, um, yeah, I just wish more Mason fans would be hard workers. A lot of them are, but, um, and I wish more of them would actually, you know, be more, so a few that, only the ones that have been following me, I don't follow anymore. The ones I don't like. Okay. And I don't know, new videos soon.